today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna show you a tech demo of something we're working on that's pretty early in development, much earlier than what we've shown it in the past, to get your feedback on how you like the tool and maybe some changes we can make to it before it comes out as maybe early in beta on the Utilite G Slicer Discord. If you haven't joined that yet, join that now. So when this does come out on early beta, you'll be one of the first to get it. To show you this new tool, I think it's gonna be a little bit easier to first show you the old tool. To do that, I'm gonna grab uh, this model, this dragon, this uh, Fat Boo, I guess that's what it's called, Fat Boo, from Dragon Ball Z. Um, I never watched Dragon Ball Z, I know there's some of you who, who will hate me for that one, but it's true, I never watched it. Anyway, so I've got this base from uh, Fat Boo. It's a rather complicated base, which is why I selected it. And what I wanna show you today is something to do with Halloween. And I, again, I think you're really gonna like it. So if I go over to prepare and click on the interior extra button, you're gonna see what Halloween 3D kind of looks like today if you're not familiar with it. This is what uh, like she looks for like Halloween 3D. So the first thing I noticed about this particular guy is these two, I guess maybe more three of these like resin traps at the top. And traditionally these are kind of a pain to deal with. So let's look at the new tool we're developing to see how it's different. Now, how I get there right now is hopefully not how we'll get there in the future. Uh, again, let me know in the comments about features, UI updates, terminology, even you know how you'd like these things to be called. Just let us know in the comments. Uh, the point of making this video is so that I show you a tech demo early enough that your input can actually alter the way it's gonna come out in the you know the early version. So anyway, let's go over to Halloween and then uh, make sure the object is selected. And I'm gonna turn on voxels based Halloween. And that's kind of the dead giveaway. What I'm showing you today is voxelization based Halloween. Let's see what that looks like. To access this is a little bit weird. I, right now it's under blockers um, and I have to edit the blocker. And there's like the traditional blockers, which are a pain to deal with. And then there's the voxels. Again, this will change in the future. Now you can see right here, I've got some blue areas and some uh, other areas up here that are marked. Uh, that are marked. So what this has done for me right now is it's actually showing me these voxels, these really cool cubes that have filled up this hollowing thing. And it's detected these uh, resin traps right here and it's already marked them for me. And that's because I've got this checkbox right here, detect pockets. I could turn that off, update it, and then they'll, they'll be there. Uh, you can see the hollowing is there underneath. Now there's a couple ways we could deal with that. One, I could just click that checkbox and that's one of the feature we're gonna add in there, which is where we'll automatically detect resin traps and fill them in. Or you can just grab, select, and I can mark them as red, which means do not hollow, and it does the same thing. We also plan on putting like a, maybe a draw tool in there. You can kind of color, color them in instead of just the drag and click option. We'll see what kind of features we do as this thing gets more and more developed. The next thing we could do is we can actually fill in suction cups. So first let's go over back, let's hit exit here. We'll go back over to the regular hollowing and let's just do a quick suction cup detector to see what that looks like. So here I've got the suction cups here and there's a couple of them. Some of them are kind of small. These two at the bottom are really the ones I care about. So one thing we're also working on is the ability to auto fill these in. So if I go back over to blockers, uh, again, terrible place for it to be. And let's do detect pockets. Um, and we're going to ignore the, the holes. All right, and there we go. It filled it in. Uh, basically everything below where a suction cup, you can see right here has been filled in. If I update the hollowing now, it's gonna go through and delete that uh, 3D hollowing and delete those suction cups automatically. And if I delete that suction cup detector, you can kind of see what's going on here that those have been filled in. Again, pretty much automatically. The last thing that we're working on that will definitely need some feedback is auto supporting within the 3D hollowing. Right now, Lychee just uses regular supports to do that. But what we're working on is that we actually just rebuild the geometry from the hollowing. Let me show you what that looks like right now. That's gonna be this add infill button. Right now, the only thing we have is interval. There's probably a lot we can do with this function. Again, let me know in the comments down below what features you'd like to see, including the UI, the UX, and even like the, the words we're using here. What we have right here is pretty, I've said it before, atrocious, uh, but yeah, definitely let us know. And maybe your ideas will make it into the next version of Lychee Slicer. But for now, let's just click on update hollowing. I put the interval at five millimeters so you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. Five millimeters is probably way too dense uh, for all those support. If it's hard for you to see, there's a bunch of support pillars inside there. Let's move that to 10. I think 10 will be more appropriate for something of this size. There we go. I think that is much more appropriate to something that size. You can kind of see what that looks like there. Let's update the hollowing, hit exit. And there you go. We've got this kind of support structure inside. So, but anyway, that's what we're working on right now. Yeah, again, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, how you'd like this to evolve moving forward. 
Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing that we're trying to work on, and that's auto hollowing holes. Pretty much what's gonna do there, it's gonna auto drill down the hole towards the build plate. Maybe not directly down, but you know, try to find a path. It's going to assume that you, the creator, orientated the model in a way that where the you know surfaces on the bottom, you care about less than the surfaces on the top. So it drilling down and making holes hopefully isn't a big deal. It might turn into where it's more of a, just a suggestion and you may have to go in there and kind of fine tweak it. We'll see how it ends up. But anyway, we're also working on that. The goal here is that this tool could potentially be incorporated into the new auto support where you literally just click a, you know, you set it up, you click a button, and not only is the, basically the model auto supported, but also it's auto hollowed and then suction cup detection, um, resin traps and, you know, hollowing holes and everything is just all done, all for you. That's kind of the goal there. So we'll see where it turns out. And of course, remember to like and subscribe to the Lychee YouTube channel, especially if I earned it with this particular video. Join us on the Lychee Slicer Discord if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching and you have yourself a really great day.